Okay, so Final Fantasy 7. Not a beatable. Not a side scroller. Could call it retro now. <laughs> Probably my favourite, one of my favourite games of all time. Which is why we're covering this. Here we go. Okay. Shit, man. In anticipation. Everybody's going wild. Holy shit. Oh, <laughs> the classic screen. Remake. Here we go. <laughs> no sound effects. Shit, man, this game looks amazing. <laughs> okay, it's looking polished. <laughs> We're going straight in here. Remaking Final Fantasy VII has allowed us to dive much deeper into the world and its characters than ever before. The game design was optimized for this title as well, and we anticipate two Blu-ray discs worth of gameplay content. Two Blu-ray discs! The first game in this project expands on the story of Midgar and is such an yeah, elaborate... Yeah, thought that's what it would be. That two Blu-ray discs of Story Midgar first disc. Cool. Right. Through the content we are about to unveil today, and through all that we have yet to unveil, we will not disappoint your expectations. Your reunion with the Final Fantasy VII you know is near. All right, everyone, let's mosey. Final Fantasy VII Remake features a hybrid gameplay system that merges real-time action with strategic command-based combat. For starters, each press of the square button is a swing of Cloud's Buster Sword. Holy shit. Cloud attacks, dodges, and blocks all in real time. The standard attacks Definitely got more damage, action. But they barely scratch the surface of Cloud's true potential. Succeeding on the battlefield requires much more than just hacking and slashing. Cloud needs to be tactical. He needs a... T B. Two ATB bars are displayed in the lower right. These fill up slowly over time, but fill much faster as Cloud lands standard attacks. Oh man. Once an ATB bar is full, Look you can it. enter tactical mode, where time slows to a crawl oh, and sick. You have the opportunity to choose actions from the command menu. Okay, so we go slow down. I've had the pleasure and of seeing quite a bit of the game, but and abilities. Never gets old for me. I could just sit here all day long and watch this beautiful slow motion action. Yeah, the slow mo looks fucking I think the audience would like to see more. Isn't that right, everyone? Hell yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Good point, good point. <laughs> yeah. Well, once in tactical mode, you can choose to perform various abilities, such as Cloud's Braver attack. Huh. Using an item in battle will deplete an ATB charge, and if Cloud has the right materia equipped oh, and man. enough materia AD, slots. he can use ATB charges to cast spells. Of course, <laughs> this being a remake, we're sure this game looks beautiful. Faces. With the use of his iconic gun arm, Barrett is able to target enemies at a distance. Barrett's standard attacks generate ATB charges similar to Cloud, but his abilities are entirely different. 
Switching between characters in combat is done with a single button press, which makes rotating through party members a snap. Shit, man, you just switch right through on the sort of switch through on the fly. Tifa in action. Tifa. Maybe soon. Alright. Characters will continue to fight even when you're not controlling them directly, but it's up to you to choose how and when ATV charges are used. You can maximize your effectiveness by switching between characters or issuing commands to characters with full ATV bars. Holy shit. Focus gauge this looks amazing. Do damage. When the gauge is full, the enemy becomes staggered and you'll deal bonus damage. Tactical mode evokes the command selections from the original Final Fantasy VII and allows players to enjoy battle while taking the time to think strategically. For players who prefer fast-paced action, abilities and spells can be bound to shortcuts for immediate execution. What? Shortcuts make combat extremely dynamic, but the choice of using them is entirely up to you. Two different playstyles. Sick. So a bit more like the classic sort of system. Uh, and then a bit more of a system on the fly for players what like it a bit more speeded up. Like that. Like it. Well, that's a brief introduction to combat in Final Fantasy VII Remake, and we look forward to showing you a whole lot more in the coming months. For now, let's see how Cloud and Barrett do against a more formidable foe. You are kidding. Huh. You double crossing! <clears throat> Shit man, the cinematics are ridiculous. Oh no, it just goes straight into the action like real time. Holy shit man. Straight into the action real time. Man, they made it look even like the normal, well, first boss is like a massive epic fight. This is just looking better than I ever imagined it was going to be, really. Oh, I like the banter between the characters. There he goes, Cloud. Oh. Oh, I love the chat between the characters. Very Final Fantasy 15. This looks insane. This is just the first boss. Ah, oh, shit, yeah. Remember this move. Uh, okay, cool. Should get behind the objects to avoid it. Attacks. Shit, man. Shit. Oh! <coughs> Jeez, all the stages falling, all the uh, levels falling to bits. The detail is ridiculous.
Holy crap. Fire in the hole. Target. Going in. As good as dead. Oh yes. Whoa shit. Cross slash. Jeez, man, it's like watching a movie. The cinematics, they've, they've just nailed this shit. Wow. And I was wondering, do you guys want to actually play the game? Shit. ということでですね、え、明日から開催されます we actually have playable demo kiosks available at the Square Enix E3 booth. So, I hope you Holy have shit. Damn, I want to be at E3. Oh, I want to play this so bad. <laughs> えー、それではですね、最後に、え、皆さんにご覧いただきたいものがありますので、え、ぜひ、え、昨日はですね、え、コンサートの方でショートバンのトレーラーを、え、公開しましたけども、今日はあの、ロングバンをご用意してますので、
I think it's good to say that uh, it's been worth the wait. Because looking at this, this looks like it's just going to be immense. This is everything you want from a Final Fantasy remake, I'm telling you now. You nailed the character spawn. Absolutely spawn. Holy shit! They have definitely done this justice. Oh! No way. Shit, he looks evil as fuck. He looks a badass. Fuck! And that release date, man. Holy shit. Pre order. Chocobo pack. Steel book. Deluxe edition. What the fuck? Oh. Shit. Fucking hell, man. Wow. And now we've got, um, Life is Strange. Hard thing to follow up on Final Fantasy VII Remake, but shit, man. Wow. I can't, I've just uh, lost the words. The character design looks absolutely spot on. Uh, the place, different play styles, I think, is just going to be such a massive point for players of old and new. Um, you can just tell that why it's been taking so long to obviously, you know, show us new footage. I mean, it announced ages ago now. Um, things went really quiet about it and shit. It's all coming together now. Playable at E3 as well. Say, uh, just, uh, be fine, Daniel. As long as we're together. Final Fantasy 7. Here we come. 